Rocket here. Since the drop of Heart of Deimos update, I have been really enjoying myself and spending some time checking out new missions in the new tile sets. As much as I am excited about the new Warframe Zarku, it is no surprise from my Tenokan Necromix video, the one thing I have been really looking forward to is building my own Necromix. This is a video of one of my complete solo runs farming Necromic parts, and by doing all three tiers of isolation vaults within a single worm cycle, to trigger an additional bonus reward. Also in the tier 3 vault towards the end of the video, I also showed how to trigger one of the special puzzle room for the special Necromic chamber. So to briefly explain the isolation vault progression, Necromic parts have a chance to drop from both defeating Necromics in isolation vault rooms, and as a drop in opening the isolation vaults, by doing isolation vault bounties from Mother. There are three tiers of these vaults, and the way you can do them all is by doing them in sequence, one after another. Once you finish your first vault, simply go to Mother out in Cambian Drift, and you will get the next tier isolation bounty. However, in order to trigger a bonus reward, you will need to complete all three within a single worm cycle, so if you intend to get the bonus, time your run so you will start at the beginning of the cycle. Once you are inside the vault room, you must defeat the Necromix, then proceed to unlock the isolation vault for the loot. For my runs, I am using my usual Nyx with a 130% strength build for instant shield and armor stripping, Catch Moon for easy dispatch of infesteds, and a heavy attack build Strafa. Between the shield and armor stripping and the heavy attack build Strafa, the Necromix are a cakewalk to fight, and shall provide very little resistance. Each of these randomly generated vault room tiles contain a secret puzzle, when triggered correctly, you will get a little special drop from them. Due to time constraints, I usually only do the last vault room puzzle, as I can just take my time to do them, after I have finished all three tiers of the isolation vault. Overall I am really enjoying running all the demos content so far, while there are still some issues with bugs, like Void Dash will randomly stop working, the resource balancing issue has mostly been adjusted before the recording of this video. I will put some timestamps in the description below for easy access to different stages of my run. So, I hope this video will be able to help you in some way. As usual, thanks for watching. That looks yummy for a monster door. Let's find some more! Additional samples, but this is a good start. Now we just need a jug to mash everything together in. Now we're cooking! Uh-oh, something's coming. Don't let her grab the snacks!
the snack and throw it at the monster door! before it starts chewing! Airborne impurities from the infested have rendered these tunnels highly toxic to non-infested. We cannot access the vaults until the toxicity level has been reduced. Certain infested organisms are massively increasing the toxicity levels. Eliminate them. Hey, we can use infested ick to keep the toxin off you. Strongest local infested are inbound. This is their last gasp. Defeat these and we should be clear to proceed. Level's coming down! Now the infested have backed off! We can go to the vault! The Entranti ruins are close. Keep pushing, and you will be there in no time. Okay, Chip. Now you just need to beat a Necromech so you can explore the ruins in peace. Did I mention that part already? Here's the big guy. He sure ain't pleased to see you, Chip. Necromech has ceased function. A most satisfactory outcome.
show you the locks on the vault. Shed no tears for the Necromech, for they are now relentless enemies to all, and there is no countermanding that. I have activated all of the generators. The vault door is now active and awaiting the correct code. You can only make three mistakes before the vault will lock permanently. Be sure before you input. Some of the knowledge that was brought back from the void never left these vaults. I hope you can find a use for it. An interesting expedition, I trust? You did well, according to Lloyd. A reward is an order for your efforts. I do hope you'll go again. There is so much more to be found. Things hidden from a mundane gaze. hesitate to even ask. Much has been hidden from us on Deimos. The old ruins beneath the surface must surely contain the deepest and darkest secrets. Find a way to get inside, and the Necroloid will guide you through. See what's happening down there. Tell me what he has been up to. When intrepid explorers returned from the void, they would isolate themselves in the vaults until they realigned with causality and sanity. Technology useful against the infestation may still- uh, uh, you stay out, Tenno! There's only death and decay down there!
If you gather the correct materials, you can persuade the infestation to open up for us. Think of it like gathering bait. Collecting tissue samples from infested can supply us with a biological key. Okay, we better get another one to be sure. We just need a jug to mash everything together in. Be on the lookout for infested. They will likely come and investigate. Do not let them disrupt the process. Now take the concoction and throw it against the large cloaca I have marked on the map. can access the infested tunnels now. Head inside. Oh, wow, it's so toxic in here it'll burn your casing off. We need to do something or the vault won't open. Some of the infested are adding to the toxicity level. Deal with them quickly. Hey, we can use infested ick to keep the toxin off you.
These are the last of the infested in the area. The largest and deadliest specimens from deeper levels. Be careful. City levels are dropping now. The infested have retreated. We can proceed to the isolation vaults. You are almost through the infested tunnels. The Entrati ruins lie just ahead. There is a guardian here, a necromech. You will need to destroy it so you can explore the ruins. Ah, the necromech guardian is here. Defend yourself, Tenno. The guardian of the vault approaches. You must defeat it, Tenno. Confess I had my concerns, but that was expertly handled. The Guardian is completely disabled. The Necromech has ceased function. A most satisfactory outcome. Eyes open. There's glass resonance in your neighborhood. We'll take you to the safety interlocks. Whatever these cephalites have become, there's no going back.
They're tough, but no glass is unbreakable. The vaults were extended and reinforced many times. The outer layers have all but collapsed under the infestation's relentless spread. But the inner chambers remain unbreached. on. Now we gotta use that code on the door. If you botch it three times, the vault locks you out for good. So don't do that, okay? I do not know what riches you may find, if any. But you will certainly discover some small measure of wisdom locked away down here. You are to be congratulated, Tenno. Few can confront the guardians of the isolation vaults. A fuller mastery of the void and all its implications would be helpful, of course. But this must suffice for now. You might consider bringing friends. 
much has been hidden from us on Deimos. The old ruins beneath the surface must surely contain the deepest and darkest secrets. Find a way to get inside, and the Necroloid will guide you through. See what's happening down there. Tell me what he has been up to. When intrepid explorers returned from the void, they would isolate themselves in the vaults until they realigned with causality and sanity. Technology useful against the infestation may still... Uh, uh, you stay out, Tenno. There's only death and decay down there. If you gather the correct materials, you can persuade the infestation to open up for us. Think of it like gathering bait. That looks yummy for a monster door. Let's find some more. We will need additional samples, but this is a good start. Just need a jug to mash everything together in. Be on the lookout for infested. They will likely come and investigate. Do not let them disrupt the process. Take the concoction and throw it against the large cloaca I have marked on the map. Well done. We can access the infested tunnels now. Head inside. Wow, it's so toxic in here it'll burn your casing off. We need to do something or the vault won't open. Some of the infested are real stinkers. Get them before they make things worse. Hey, we can use infested ick to keep the toxin off you.
The biggest infested are coming! If we can make it through these, we'll make it to the ISO vault! Certain infested organisms are massively increasing the toxicity levels. Eliminate them! Toxicity levels are dropping now. The infested have retreated. We can proceed to the isolation vaults. Just a little further. You're almost through the icky infested bits. The ruins await. There is a guardian here, a necromech. You will need to destroy it so you can explore the ruins. Here's the big guy. He sure ain't pleased to see you, Chip. The guardian of the vault approaches. You must defeat it, Tenno. I confess I had my concerns, but that was expertly handled. The guardian is completely disabled. Necromec has ceased function. A most satisfactory outcome. And he's down! Never doubted you for a minute, ship! Take you to the safety interlocks. The vaults were extended and reinforced many times. The outer layers have all but collapsed under the infestation's relentless spread. But the inner chambers remain unbreached.
Now we gotta use that code on the door. If you botch it three times, the vault locks you out for good. So don't do that, okay? I do not know what riches you may find, if any. But you will certainly discover some small measure of wisdom locked away down here. Very, very good. You descend and return, most pleasing. So many descend and remain as remains. Perhaps you might learn more once you strengthen your void connection. It is a difficult place to navigate with only one eye open.